Welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, and WHHI-TV is excited to welcome all Hargrave subscribers to our new channel placement, broadcasting at 9 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. daily. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you're in business, you've probably heard the phrase social media marketing. And if you've attended any conferences recently, you've probably attended a social media marketing presentation. So what is social media and how the heck do you, as a small business, market yourself as a big business without the big business advertising budget? Here to tell us in a few easy and simplified steps how to create your new highly in-demand online presence, John Ontel, lead strategist for nichemarketmedia.net. John, welcome. Thank you, Sandy. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So how do our viewers begin to cre create like a proper online presence? You know, that's a fantastic question, and I'm going to move up here to the dry erase board so I can show everybody. Wonderful. Okay. Um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to help me out a little bit in this process. And when you're thinking of an, an online presence, where does it all start, Sandy? Well, my, in my mind, mm -hmm. it's starting with your website. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this square here, and that's going to be your website. Okay? And um, then when we go from here, it's, they're, they're written in many different languages. So do you know by any chance what would be a good uh, language to write a website in? Well, absolutely. I no. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you. And there's a great platform. There's several different platforms out there. And the one that's the most widely used is called WordPress. And the neat thing about WordPress is it gives you a front end and a back end. And so this side is going to be where the visitors go. And that's what they see from the web when they go to your web address. Uh, when you go to your website, they, that's what they see. But then the back end is what the business owner sees. This is the back end. Okay. Now that you've got this website, how do you get people to it? Well, and of course, that's the most important thing is getting people to the website. I mean, my, my thoughts would be um, people would Google it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Facebook. Perfect. Uh, Twitter. Yep. And LinkedIn, which I use. I actually use LinkedIn to uh, post jobs that um, you know my business you know in looking for right. employees Absolutely. or or new information so um, that seems to be a, a, a good um, a good source of communication no, you're absolutely right and uh, and you you knew this so well I was having to catch up to you so <laughs> I'm proud of you you're doing really good and another one too that that we didn't write and all these are great and another one is YouTube YouTube as, right. as you know video is hugely popular right and when people see a video if you do it right you can link this back to your to your website and and with Google and I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one with the Google and that's SEO and that's search engine optimization so if you've got a business and somebody searches that term if it's done right this will if you do the SEO right you'll rank high on Google and then that will get them to your site it's okay. pretty awesome stuff and um, what about a newsletter that was where I was going next. The newsletter is an awesome, awesome, awesome way to communicate with your clients. And a lot of times when people have got a newsletter, well, well how, how often do I send it? Really, if you send it more than about once a month, you may turn it off and lose subscribers. Right. And so, and, and also the way to do a newsletter, it's not just about me, 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 but it's just to communicate with them. Right. So all these are touch points. And so I like to call this our hub. Okay. Or, you know, or we're on Hilton Head, so it's an island. So think of your website as an island. And we have all these bridges that we're creating. And all of these bridges, uh, somebody may see you on LinkedIn. You can market on Facebook. If you pop up right in Google, now this is actually working for you. Instead of just an electronic business card, which most people get set up with online because it's not written in WordPress. And I'm going to write WordPress over here, too. And the neat thing about that is the search engines love it. And let me go here again, too. I'm going to write the word blog. I know you've heard that term. I have. And so a blog can be something that you write an article about your business, and this can potentially rank high in Google. And Google loves blogs because they are interactive, and, and they rank high on Google if they're done right. All right. Well, I have to ask a big question. Yeah. All right. Um, if 
I don't have the time to do this, which I don't right. as a business owner doing wearing 200 hats already. Mm -hmm. So how do I know, number one, what company to use? Right. And number two, once I develop this website and I know that I need to get people there, how, who takes care of yeah. that for me? That's an awesome, awesome question. Um, and when I wrote this, I've got your visitors see, that's what they see when they, when they do your, your domain.com. Now you've got this thing called the back end, and that's what WordPress, and it's a free platform. You, could go, you can get it for free. However, if you don't have time to do it right, that's when you have to hire a company. So these are the questions I would ask a potential company that's wanting hand to your, hand your business. And I'm gonna tell you real quick too, when it's this time for you to have someone else do it. Um, WordPress means that it's easy for you on the back end. Okay, and that means that you can update this yourself. However, if your time is more valuable meeting people offline, that's when you hire a business. And if they don't have this stuff, these are the questions. Can the website ha handle a blog? Is it WordPress? Will it rank high in Google? Can you connect it with Facebook? Can you add videos? So those are the questions you'd want to ask a company. All right, and so if by chance um, people are looking for a company to do this for them. This is something you yourself absolutely can do for others. Yeah, and yeah, and I have uh, companies. Yeah, I, I build their websites, but there's certain companies that are uh, that don't have the time. Right. So uh, I do the things they don't want to do, they don't know how to do, or uh, they they don't have time to do, right. but they know they need to. do. They know they need it. And, right. And, and real quick, how do I, how do they know if I'm doing my job? Well, if somebody sees them on Facebook or, or if they're ranking high on Google, so everything I do, I do can be measured with analytics. I'm going to write that on there. And these are all terms that you should know so you can be informed when you're trying to hire someone to do your work. Okay. And so, John, when people are ready to go to that level of social media marketing, they need to get a hold of you at Niche Market Media Marketing. NicheMarketMedia.net. Niche Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.